谢谢 Pete. Hi, good morning. So my name is Wang Yacheng. I'm from Tencent, and、uh, it's a great pleasure and honor for me to be invited here to talk about、uh, edge computing. And、uh, just now, the, spe the previous speakers has mentioned that in the open source, actually now we always talk about edge and edge computing, and also edge open source. And、uh, I'm very pleased. To be here on behalf of Tencent Cloud and to give a brief、um, uh, introduction about the progress and also especially for Tencent in terms of、uh, open source and also in edge, what kind of things we have done so far. So when talk about Linux Foundation, well, as we have mentioned, actually we have established a、uh, umbrella. So it is a umbrella project. And basically, it is to unify the edge computing projects. And、uh, three years ago, this became a buzzword. Everyone is talking about is talking about the architecture for edge computing, and also what kind of、uh, add-ons we need to have. And also in terms of open source, we began to discuss what kind of、uh, open source business need、uh, edge computing, and this is the data from the Linux Foundation. So for the non-traditional industries, for instance, like IoT, they need to have the low latency guarantee. For instance, like VR and also VR gaming and also cloud-based gaming, and they all have a demand for the edge computing and also IoT. So we have a lot. Of、uh, different scenarios of application, and、uh, Jabit has said that we need to think about the different layers of uh, uh, edge. For instance, IoT edge and also enterprise edge and cloud edge, and we need to work from the bottom, from the base, like、uh, the hypervisor and also the containerization and also virtualization and also for the pod service, how to build all of them. So for the Linux Foundation, we have、uh, four key projects in order to integrate all the edge computing and open source projects, and、uh, to provide you a kind of a gu guidance in terms of、uh, which technology to choose. So for these four projects, well, at the main, well, we have four, but actually for the LF edge, it is now more than four. So we have、uh, Arc Reno, and、uh, it, it is the English is called Blueprint. So I can give you an, an example. Basically, it is、uh, focused on scenario how to use、uh, open source technology to build a platform for edge computing, and、uh, maybe these are existing technology, for instance,、uh, QRS and as a Kubernetes technology, or the DBDK. And for the existing to use the existing architecture and also technology. And、uh, but it needs to first of all to specify a scenario. And、uh, currently it has 11 scenario architecture guidance available. And also we have EVE Home Edge,、uh, uh, and also EVX. And basically these are for the IoT and also for the home-based scenario. And、uh, the other one is more for the IoT scenario. And EVE is more like a operating、uh, system for the edge computing. And、uh, if you are interested in these four, you can go to the website and to get more knowledge about it. And for Tencent, what is our focus? Actually, this morning Bert has already talked about it.、Uh, In terms of uh, uh, in terms of the deployment based on containerization and also edge computing in terms of the network side, so we still find find that we are still missing some、uh, functions. For instance, the、uh, unify between the cloud unification between cloud and edge. And for Tencent, our focus is more like yours, but we're more focused on autonomous driving and also IoT in manufacturing and also、uh, in terms of、uh, cloud gaming. So we still have some pain points. For instance, we need a larger、uh, bandwidth, and 5G can provide a solution. And also, we need to have low latency, and also 5G can help us with that as well. And also, we need to have an end-to-end. Uh, architecture, and、uh, for instance, to guarantee the low latency, and for all these pain points, in order to solve it, 
to solve them. We need to get the help from our newest technologies. And for Tencent, we also have the so-called TSEC online platform. And uh, it is the Tencent Smart Edge Connector. It is a connector. And basically, to connect Keras and also our Edge computing platform, and also to connect our Edge cloud and also central cloud. And also, here are its features, its functions. So first of all, it's about mobile traffic offloading. And for 5G, also, it talks about MEC. And in the station, we hopefully, we can rapidly to divide the traffic. And therefore, we need to have this function, the mobile traffic offloading. And also, we need to have the network acceleration. So why we need to have acceleration function? For instance, now we have the live streaming um, module. And therefore, we need to have the network um, acceleration. And also for audience, for game players, we need to have the, well, on-demand acceleration. And therefore, how can we very flexibly to change the network? And also, we, the third function is so-called edge traffic forwarding. And in order to guarantee a high performance. And also, for instance, how can we create a very safety environment, a very safety tunnel? And also, we need to have the very high performance uh, data handling. And we need to have a unified access. And in order to have the high efficiency high efficient forwarding and also load balancing. So everything needs to find a solution under TSEC. And also apart from mobile network, also we focus on IoT scenarios as well. We hope that TSEC can become a uh, architecture and to provide a unified protocol. And uh, this is about the TSEC. And just now I talk about its functions. And behind it, there is a kit in order to realize the function. And for this slide, and we talk about TSEC's position in our network. We are a connector. We need to connect the different network and also the upper level, that is the cloud structure architecture. And therefore, we say that TSEC is a connector. It is. It is a core connector in the whole system. And also for these uh, two charts, you can see clearly how can we enable a, what kind of technologies to enable such a platform. And uh, Linux Foundation already talked about how can we enable infrastructure, deploy infrastructure, and uh, for instance, virtual machine, and also containerization. And also we need to talk about, for instance, operating system, and also edge uh, containerization. And for TSEC, we are a path service provider for the network level. And uh, just now we talk about the cloud data center, and we are the connector between the carrier, between the vendor, and also ourselves, and also the cloud. Just now we talked about uh, the edge computing and, and it's uh, open source. And uh, when we look at the TSEC, we hope that we can use a lot of uh, open source technology to build it. So last month, uh, we put forward our proposal to Linux Foundation that is uh, looking at uh, the uh, uh, scenario of uh, IoT and the scenario of a game. And the two blue points, blue points uh, was uh, 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 proposed, and we also will have uh, a lot of uh, the uh, uh, DDDK and uh, the VPP acceleration technology, uh, which are based on the open source development. We we'll also look at uh, the load balance, uh, the offloading, and the blueprint um, technology. When the blueprint uh, was given to Linux uh, uh, Foundation, we also will look at the existing technology. The Linux uh, uh, will. Uh, tell us uh, what and how to use uh, the open source technology. And we also hope that uh, our open source technology can be upstream to the Linux Foundation to build the real sense of uh, open source. We also look at uh, the architecture's uh, verification. And we work uh, um, on the uh, 
TSAC technology on the cloud gaming and also for looking at uh, the cloud gaming development and uh, also uh, on the digital technology of uh, the MWC 2019. We also will showcase uh, this uh, technology quickly build the IoT application and this uh, will help us uh, to build the harmonized coordination between the network and the edge. And we are very glad to meet all of you and um, we hope to um, have a communication with you based on this uh, WeChat uh, open account. Uh, and this is about uh, the 5G and IoT open cooperation. In Tencent, we have uh, a ongoing slogan that is uh, connecting everything. We hope that uh, we can be connected uh, with the developers and other uh, partners to build the all win ecosystem and build the faster development in the edge computing. Thank you very much.